At Yerevan's airport, dozens of flights land every day, filled with Russians on the run. Upon arrival, there is relief. It feels warm and uh, safety. Kind of a uh, calm mood. I feel relieved right now, so um, I'm not scared. <laughs> These young Moscovites arrived 10 days ago. They feel safer in Armenia, but remain worried about Russia's future. In Yerevan, the atmosphere is more relaxed. It's easier to uh, follow the situation in Ukraine and in Moscow from here. Inside Moscow, we have no freedom at all. We will have uh, a police state. It will be the country that will be absolutely isolated from the world. This is the worst scenario, but I see it being the most possible one. According to OVD Info, over 14,000 Russians have been arrested for protesting against the invasion. We have a completely different world, a completely different country. For those who have fled, fear is now mixed with guilt. I feel ashamed as a Russian citizen that my uh, government is attacking innocent people right now. I'm sure that uh, in the future we have to pay for the sins that we didn't even commit. Liev and his father were arrested last year for protesting against the government. But today, any protest seems to be in vain. A person who can kill thousands People in Ukraine, it doesn't matter for him, those protests with 10 or even 20,000 people in Moscow. Most of their means of payment are blocked and they may soon lose their jobs. As their prospects in Armenia are slim, only one hope remains. The end of Putin's regime, it's, uh, it's, it's my dream and it's, it's a dream of all of us, I think. In calm Yerevan, far from the tension at home, these Russians confess to feeling they are living a life in limbo, between tourist and political refugee.